The Regenerative Medicine for Diabetes group at Newcastle University brings together basic scientists, clinical academics, hospital multidisciplinary teams and our patients throughout the Northeast focused on transformative and ultimately curative therapies for diabetes. We share a wonderful collaborative spirit with facilities across the city. In addition to our core labs at the medical school, we undertake clinical islet isolation in the GMP clean rooms at the Centre for Life. In parallel, we've just set up an isolation facility focused on producing cells for basic research. The GMP facility works closely with the clinical research facility and the magnetic resonance imaging facility down at the general site in Newcastle. Human islets are provided through the clinical facility, the GMP clean room at the Centre for Life, but also now in a lab just below the translational science lab where human islets of high quality are made. The clinical research facility is just along the corridor. This is great because uh, as well as doing the usual industry-led trials, there's a lot of investigator-initiated studies taking place. First in man, particularly with an immunotherapy focus, so looking at ways of modulating autoimmune disease, obviously including early type 1 diabetes. I had something called an islet cell transplant. Now the hope is um, the islet cells, everybody has them apart from diabetics. Um, islet cells produce insulin naturally in your body. Diabetics don't. So I've had to have mine donated and then put into of a portal vein just off the liver. They're now hopefully starting to produce insulin themselves, which will give me, and is already giving me some control of my hypos, my low blood sugars. I'm starting to get warning signs, which I haven't had since I was 18, 19 years of age. We set up uh, a programme where we were sharing islets around the UK and they were coming up on the road from all of the central facilities. But we've recruited a team from around the world recently so we can do islet isolation here. We've got wonderful clean room facilities at the Centre for Life and they've taken on not patients with type 1 diabetes but people have such painful pancreatitis that the organ gets removed to cure the pain. The islets have then been rescued in the Centre for Life and transplanted back into those patients. We've seen really great results and actually we're moving on now to take on patients who had trauma to the pancreas who haven't had inflammation for years but a very acute injury. The benefit of having the uh, islet isolation uh, laboratory downstairs from the basic scientist is that we don't have to transport the islets causing extra stress and therefore we can uh, guarantee a better non-stressed uh, islet product for the end user. The Newcastle Clinical Research Facility has been set up to support early phase experimental medicine research. So this is really looking at new and novel treatments and also looking for biomarkers of disease. Now the Clinical Research Facility supports a wide range of clinical research but we particularly focus on diabetes. Now one of the most important things really is being able to access patients and, and, and volunteers for research and we have close working relationships between the clinical research facility and clinical research networks in the northeast. It was important to uh, set up a standalone research centre based upon magnetic resonance. On the basis of my background, originally I studied adipose tissue cells in humans, then I studied human muscle, then I studied human liver, but that sort of kebab approach wasn't good enough. Clearly we had to get the whole thing together and study the person in toto. Now the only way of doing that is to utilize the power of magnetic resonance, which allows us a sort of magic window to look inside the body and measure not only structure, but also function. The magnetic resonance scans have allowed us to look at the chemical composition of these structures and to discover just what's happening in real time. So when we ask people with type 2 diabetes to follow a low calorie diet, we can actually see the fat disappearing from the liver. That happens very rapidly, a few days. And amazingly, we can see the fat disappear from the pancreas. Not disappear, but go down to normal levels. And that happens over a longer period of time. But within eight weeks, the fat has gone back down to normal level. The Institute is an unusual and unique uh, building. Um, it's a unique opportunity um, 
to bring transport professionals together. In Newcastle in particular, we were a disparate group of transplant professionals. Newcastle had a strong history of transplantation for over many, many years, all forms of transplant, but it was being done in, in silos and pockets around the city. And we felt that it was time to harness all that energy in one place. The future is to recruit as many top quality scientists as we can from everywhere in the world here to the northeast of England because we've got human islets, high quality, um, that will, will move the, the field forward. You can't keep working on mice and rats to cure diabetes. And we've got the facilities where we can move that from the basic lab into the clinical research facility into patients. We've shown with the NHS ILAP program that we can get adoption by the whole of the clinical service NHS in the UK and that leads to worldwide adoption. It's a super environment to innovate, to ensure good quality of outcome, to receive the feedback uh, and work with our patients year on year as we strive. We can always do better. We know that, they know that. We work internationally. It's a tremendous environment.